All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, just a quick little spoiler warning before the video starts. Um, we actually, uh, um, if you have not rather uh, seen any of the previous weeks, weeks one, two, and three, definitely check those out. Three was the super week as well, so make sure you get all all of those games in. Otherwise, we're going to be doing some little, little spoilers in here, obviously, reviewing weeks two and three, which we have to catch up on a little bit. So, yeah, there you go. This is your warning. Click away now. Hmm, All right. Have been warned. <laughs> uh, welcome, Drew. How's the, how you doing today? Good, good. Uh, I have been. What? Have you been? I, I actually have been enjoying. Um, Me too. LCS uh, overall uh, yeah, yeah. this season. I think more than last season, even. So it's been. I've been having a good time with it. I think it's been really good, and a lot of teams have been very, very close, which we didn't expect. Um, yes. So yeah, that's cool. So first off, we got Cloud9 versus Dignitas um, in week two, and uh, Cloud9 ends up winning as they should, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. this would be their third win. Um, so that's that was pretty much normal. I don't think there's anything expected like else to say about that one, right? No, no, I think Dignitas is pretty bad. Yeah, unfortunately. And then, <laughs> and then NRG versus. 100 Thieves, and um, I think Energy kind of shut out 100 Thieves this game, if I remember correctly. So, um, um they well, did, right? they did, yeah. yeah, they did. It was uh, it was kind of hype to see uh, Sniper play Dokla, but yeah, uh, yeah. And, and if I remember right, uh, I think he got a steal kill because I watched this game, yeah, he did. Like, Sniper, I think, played Cassante and was like super fed. But yeah. the the rest of it, like Hunter Thieves, kind of got run over by NRG. So, yep, yep. yep. All right, and then uh, next up, we got the FlyQuest versus TL, um, and then FlyQuest end up winning against TL that game. Mm -hmm. um, FlyQuest has been looking pretty good, honestly, and TL, they're looking about as I expected them, but maybe a little bit. I don't know. It's it's like some days are a little bit worse, some days are a little bit better. So. Um, yeah, I think they're losing to the teams I would expect them to lose to sometimes, and then they're 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 winning against most of the teams that I yeah. would expect. Yeah, I think they're to like lose. exactly they're like the exact middle of the road team for me. Pretty much, yeah. Um, all right, and then Immortals Progressive versus Shopify Rebellion, and Immortals ends up taking the win here. Um, Immortals looking pretty good. I I know there've been a lot of rumors like scrims and stuff have been super yeah. good with the mortals um so they're looking pretty good uh i think shopify is also looking relatively good as well but uh right now i think mortals are playing a little better overall um just just slightly yeah so. i um i think both these teams are better than dignitas so i think yes. like they both yeah, yeah. could could take games off of like top teams uh if the conditions were were correct yeah yeah, absolutely. All right, and then going down, um, <clears throat> next up we got uh, Dignitas versus 100 Thieves, and as you would expect, 100 Thieves ends up taking that game. I don't think I watched that one, but um, um, it was uh, yeah, it wasn't too much to write home about. Just... <laughs> yeah, 100 Thieves pretty much just took care of business. Pretty much looking pretty good, and then Shopify Rebellion actually uh, ends up taking out Cloud Nine here in a mm, little bit of an mm. upset. Um, Zayza, I, I know, was like super crazy about, <laughs> super happy about it, taking down his old team there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was kind of rough to see Cloud Nine just kind of not know what to do a little bit. Um, I've noticed. Uh, I do want to like talk about them for a second. Um, We'll see it in the next couple of games as well. Um, as you can see, their, their score is actually 3 and 4 at uh, the current yeah. uh, level, which they actually have a losing record. I think they're technically 5th place or something right now in the LCS, which is pretty crazy considering most people are expecting them to be clearly number 1. Um, yeah, like easily number 1. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it's pretty disappointing. Um, there's a lot of things I think that are problems right now. But I think the synergy is probably maybe one of the big things. I think actually drafting, even though I know people are be like, oh yeah, drafting, you can't play everything on draft. But I do actually think uh, the drafts have been a little bit weird. I don't know if it's because of the players or because of Mythy or, or what exactly, but um, I, I think, think I we agree with stop you. Stop playing yeah. Lucian, particularly. Yeah, I don't think it's because uh... Berserk is bad at it. Uh, I just think Lucian's a bad champion right now. So. <laughs> 
Um, yeah. Especially in Tavares, Drafts. which I think almost every game it's been in Tavares, which is a very bursty champ, and Lucian's very low health overall, so. Drafts have been drafts have been super super weird. For Pretty Bondi. weird. So I I agree a hundred percent. Heck, like this game they lost to Shopify was the the vain mid incident. That is true. Yeah. Um, so Shopify I mean, if you just really want like team. a yeah yeah, there you go. Absolutely. Um, I don't think like the vein mid's super like you should really focus in on that too much. I don't think it was the vein's fault. But it definitely is very strange to see a vein mid. Um, but you know, it was a response. Well, I just thought I thought I thought the vein was like good uh, in lane, like in a, like as a yeah. lane pick. But then uh-huh. I think it made the whole like their whole team comp weird. So that's what I mean. Like the drafting yeah, just yeah, feels yeah. weird because I feel like if I you agree. really wanted to do this vein mid, you could have drafted a way better team around it. Comp so. around it for sure. I agree. Yeah, and also yeah. uh, bouncing off of what you just said there, I remember. Um, in uh, hindsight, I guess, some of the casters were also noting that um, the Maokai was going uh, more damagey build, and then our, their top laner, I think was Udyr as well, was also going yeah. pretty damagey as well. So it was pretty much like full damage team, no tank really, even though they had Udyr <laughs> and Maokai, which you would think would be building tank when they kind of need it with a squishy vein mid and a, I think it was Lucian, ADC. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So... Bit strange there, but yep, Cloud9 ended up losing their first, well, their second, I believe, game, actually. Yep. So that would bring them to uh, three and two, I believe. And then um, next up, we got Energy versus uh, FlyQuest, and Energy actually looked pretty good, and they actually take FlyQuest, the only game off of FlyQuest. So we got the two uh, C9 and FlyQuest were the undefeated teams before this week, and mm-hmm. now they both get knocked out here. Um, Luke getting their first losses. Um, or actually, no, yeah, that's right. That's right. Cloud9's first loss was here, so it would be 3-1 and one then. That's right, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, Energy looks pretty good, honestly, against FlyQuest. I think FlyQuest definitely had uh, openings, but I think there was, like, an Ivern that was, like, messing things up, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, it's been a yeah, minute, yeah. so... I slept since then. I don't remember everything, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretty good game though. I think both these teams are looking pretty pretty strong overall. Yeah, I agree. I agree. And then Team Liquid versus Honda comes out, um, and then of course, as you would expect, Team Liquid does actually end up defeating Immortals. Um, but I think Immortals played pretty close them pretty close this game. I don't remember exactly though. Yeah, it definitely wasn't a uh, blowout like for sure. It was. It was. It was. It, it could have gone either way, honestly. But yeah, I think TL is just slight, like notch above yeah. the bottom teams. So definitely better, yeah, I would yeah. say. All right, and then next up, we got uh, Cloud Nine versus Immortals, and then Immortals actually take a game off of Cloud Nine as well as as we were saying. They do. <laughs> they uh they looked pretty 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 decent here. Um. They really didn't... They were pretty much even, I think, the almost the entire match. And another thing I no, have been noticing in the last couple of games that Cloud9 plays, they have not been taking almost any of the uh, Void Grubs either. Um, yeah. Which is sort of interesting. But, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, th- another game where they got... the Cloud9 got Lucian, and I forget the exact draft here, but um, I, once again, I don't think it was, like, super good or anything. Um but yeah, another another loss from Cloud9, which brings them to three and two, which is not where you really want to be, especially losing to Immortals. Um, hmm. But yeah, any thoughts on this one? No, I mean this. Uh, no various bans. Summed it up really well. Yeah, the, <laughs> I just uh, Cloud9 yeah, needs to ban Lucian just so they. Again, it's not so it's not that it. Berserker <laughs> can't play it. It's just that I don't I don't think the team can play around it, and I don't think it's that strong in NA, so yeah i would definitely agree it's definitely not all the lucian's fault but like no yeah picking lucian a bunch is not is not helping right now yep yep for sure and then we got uh team liquid versus nrg is the next game and uh this is the third week i believe and yeah uh, yeah, yeah. nrg of course end up being team liquid as you would expect um looking pretty decent still i didn't really watch that game so i'm not sure uh hmm been a little bit low on time lately but uh yeah any thoughts on that one or 
Um, no. I mean, it, it, this game, it's kind of just like you said earlier. Um, it, like, Team Liquid just, it feels like that exact middle team. So it didn't, they had a couple moments where they were kind of going back and forth, but it just mm -hmm. didn't ever seem like, you, like, you never really thought energy was going to lose to them. Um, so they just seem like, yeah, they lose to everybody who should be better than them, but they also, TL just beats everyone who should be worse than them. So yeah. I think they're like that, that like exact middle team. Um, so yeah, that this game just kind of, I don't want that way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then uh, Shopify Rebellion uh, plays against uh, Dignitas and Dignitas actually picks up a win against Shopify here, which is uh, not that was what a you surprise. would expect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they, they actually pick up a win here. Yeah. And then um, 100 Thieves versus FlyQuest, as you would expect, FlyQuest does win. I think 100 Thieves played pretty decent in certain aspects of this one, but um, I've actually been watching most of the FlyQuest games too, and, and they're looking really good. They're uh, This is one of the teams I had like questions about, because I was like, see, I might put them second or third, but um, honestly, if they have like, if they can do really, really well, they could be first. Um, and of yep, course... Yep. That, say c9 is giving them that opportunity right now as well so um they could uh, win if they if they uh if they continue <laughs> i'm getting uh i get more and more confident in their bot lane like as the games go on yeah um because i always thought like blippo and inspired were gonna be just really Super good. good yeah That's, yeah Jesus like, be, like them, even thought, maybe too. yeah yeah so really i just was wondering like how would jensen play Yep. And then their volume was kind of just like un like untested, I guess. Yeah. Um but yeah, as as the games go on, um I have less questions about that and Blip on Inspire are as good as I thought they would be. So yeah, they're looking yeah, pretty they're scary. Real strong. All right. Next up we got uh Dignitas versus T L here. Um looks like Team Lock look uh, Team Liquid. Uh, actually take out down Dignitas, as you would expect, like you were saying earlier. Yep. And then uh, FlyQuest actually gets the win over Cloud9 in... Uh, what yep, I that's think... a big one. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I guess Cloud9 actually had a, a worse record technically going into this match, but um, these two teams were pretty much like after... We weren't sh quite sure if Energy is like number one or anything. Um, these two teams were pretty much looking like the best at the moment. Um, and Cloud9 yeah. was on the downfall, so FlyQuest uh, picks up a very convincing win here and uh, once again takes them out. I believe this is the game where um, FlyQuest had the Cinetom Kinch, I want to say? Uh, or no, no, it was, was it Cine Nautilus? No. I think it was Cine Nautilus. Yeah, Cine Nautilus, I believe. And uh, yeah, the rookies, uh, Meech and I guess Busio isn't technically a rookie, but pretty new player, um, end up taking out uh, Berserker and Blabber, I think, in two v two kills. They take out yeah. at least one kill very early, and then I think they double kill later as well. So they're just outplaying pretty much um, the matchup, which you could argue once again is yeah. uh, probably probably shouldn't be playing Lucian again <laughs> three times. Yeah, in a row. it's a pretty pretty surprising. Um, yeah, that they yeah that that's how that lane went, but yeah, for sure, it's crazy. Uh, kudos to FlyQuest. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and then Immortals Progressive versus 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves ends up winning, as you would mostly expect, and 100 Thieves looking pretty pretty good relatively. Um, I know a lot of people were actually saying this team would might be like down in the dumps, like the bottom three or so, but um, I wasn't expecting them to be that low. I think they're probably in the bottom four, but <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll have to see once again. Uh, right now they're tied actually for, I think, second with NRG and Team Liquid. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, look I would be surprised nice. if they finished in the top two. Yeah, um, I don't. Think yeah, I don't think they're much. gonna be. I don't think they're gonna be like the worst teams for sure. I no, think they'll be no. in the middle. I agree for sure. And then uh, NRG versus Shopify Rebellion, and Shopify Rebellion actually takes the game here. Uh, did you watch this match? I didn't actually. Um, let me. Was this Friday or no? This was Saturday. Uh, Saturday, yeah, the third. I think I did watch this match. I always I would need to see the draft to remember for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, 
but I feel like I did because I f yeah I I think I watched the first half of it, um, and Shopify like kind of ran away with it if I remember correctly. You could probably check it out here real fast, see if we can get to the draft. If I see the draft, I'll remember for sure. Yeah. Yeah. The okay. The here. Callista Ash. The Varus Nautilus. Yeah, yeah the, Scion. the Scion. Scion mid again. Scion yeah, and the Varus, yeah, the Varus, I think, is really good. Yeah. I don't think is yeah. actually that good, to be honest, personally. Um, but Pro like loves her to death, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there was like nobody that could kill... Well, you, like basically no one could kill... B-Boy's looking um... pretty good, too, by the way. B-Boy is looking pretty good, but no one, no one on uh, NRG could kill Fake God and Insanity. Like, at a certain point, that was the big uh, problem. Yep, that makes sense. They don't really have, like, mm -hmm. super good tank killers or anything like that, particularly. Yep. So, yep. Right. so, like, it got to a point in the game where it was just like, oh, well, it's kind of over. Like, so. Yeah, 100%. All right, so Shopify Rebellion take down uh, NRG, which puts them in, I think, four and three, or no, three and three, maybe? Something like that. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Going into the last last day. Oh no. I guess I guess it was four and two. Then. Okay. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. So. Um. Sunday on the February fourth, a couple days ago. Uh. Dignitas plays against FlyQuest, and of course FlyQuest uh still dominant, playing really well against Dignitas. Take a win over them, and then Team Liquid takes a win over Cloud9 as the uh, final Lucian game, hopefully. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ends up taking uh, Cloud Nine to three and four. A rough losing. super week for Cloud yeah. Nine. So this this actually means Cloud Nine loses four in a row, which I think the stats was like they haven't lost four in a row since uh, like I don't know. A long it was time. like two thousand days ago or something. It was crazy. It's like many many years. Um, so it's it's pretty crazy. That, uh, they've have been able to do that technically, yeah. and they lose every game in Super Week as well, which is uh, kind of rough. But uh, yeah, it also means uh, T Liquid actually end with a four and three record, which is a positive record for them. And um, yeah, Shopify Rebellion uh, versus 100 Thieves, and 100 Thieves I think are a little better than them, so um, I would expect them to win. So they they ended up winning here as well. Mm -hmm. And then NRG versus Immortals. Immortals actually gives the NRG guys their third loss here. Uh, so Immortals doing a pretty good, pretty good job. They got actually in the week two and one, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so. they. Uh, that's that was the biggest surprise. I, well, I guess <clears throat> the two big surprises were obviously Cloud9 losing all three games, but then yeah, Immortals winning two games was. Pretty big also too, pretty big yeah. surprise. So, Absolutely. Um, but I, I, I'm a big uh, I'm a big Ole fan. So yeah, that's fair. Uh, I uh, I will never be sad about seeing that guy win a couple games. So that was uh, yeah. I don't hate it. Absolutely. All right, let's get into some predictions now uh, for Ooh. the second half of the split. I think we're gonna have. Is it a two week break or was uh, is that later on? I thought they said they were going to have a two-week break. Oh, no, here it is. It is a two-week break. It's after this, but this yeah. week. Okay. It's after this week. All right, so it wasn't the super week, but uh, in the fourth week, uh, there will yep. be a, a two-week break after that as well. So, yep. yeah. Um, first up, we got energy versus C9. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? This will is C9 a, figure it out? <laughs> I don't know. This is a big game because C9 obviously came off of four losses in a row, but NRG... Who, they lost two games in Super Week, right? They lost to Immortals and then yeah, and previously uh, and C9 Shopify did beat them. Yeah, in week so, one. So uh, I'm gonna say, oh god, I'm gonna say Cloud Nine, but I am. <laughs> I I actually think whichever team loses this is in like big trouble. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, they um, might go on like full tilt, so we'll see. Yeah, I want to say Cloud9, but uh, uh, if they don't win this, it's going to be really bad. Five losses in a row is going to be uh, disgusting. Yeah. Um, so hopefully yeah. hopefully that won't Stone, happen. But we'll Stone see. pick Lucian, do a draft. Yeah, like let's try to get Varus and... maybe. Uh, try to get Blue yeah. Side. I think we played Red Side many times recently, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that will help, but you never know. <laughs> At least you get first pick, you know? Um, yep. And then 
Uh, Mortals Progressive versus Dignitas. I think we both say Immortals here, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. And then TL versus 100 Thieves. Um, probably TL, right? Uh, which, yeah, which, I'd which... TL. Okay. Yeah, I'd say TL. And then I think we both go with FlyQuest versus Shopify. Yeah. Um, definitely. FlyQuest definitely taking that one, I think. So, uh, yeah. And then Cloud9 versus 100 Thieves here in the second day. Um, we... What do we think? Uh... Cloud9 should win. Well, actually, so this is what I'll say. Cloud9 wins unless they lost that game to NRG. <laughs> yeah, and that's then I fair. just think they're, they're going to be so, like, just mental boom that they lose this one. But, I, but I, I, think they, I think they will beat NRG and then beat 100 Thieves. That's my prediction. Okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then, so, I think, I think I completely agree pretty much with what you said there. Um, Cloud9 probably. And then uh, energy, I think we both agreed to beat to Dignitas yep. here, and then we got TL versus Shopify Rebellion, which I, th what do you think, Shop uh, TL? Yeah, it it should be TL. Um, I'm gonna just say Shopify, Shopify Rebellion, win. just to uh, energy. just because they they like you know Shopify Rebellion. It, it, they like I said, some days they look really good, some days they look a little off that's fair. um yeah. so i'm gonna just say shopify rebelli i like i don't think they're the favorites but just so i can throw an upset in there yeah there I'm you go say, there you go i'm gonna say shopify rebellion i think i think they definitely could beat tl i can definitely good see day, so. it um yeah have they but i think insanity versus uh apa is a fun uh fun matchup yeah i want to see what their previous one. okay so tl previously won versus them early on okay uh just just curious uh yeah i think i'll say tl just to be safe but i do think it's very possible for shopify to win for sure um same thing for 100 thieves honestly versus tl it's just hard to say um yeah and then of course we both say flyquest should be immortals here as well yeah for sure for sure um, should be a pretty nice high that'll make them what nine nine no eight and one i think wait yeah seven. No, uh, they're seven and six and one, seven and one, eight and one. Yeah, yeah. They'll get, they'll get two weird wins here because they're six and one right now. I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's pretty much predictions for us. Um, I think that's about it. Any any final thoughts here? Um, should we pre predict the rest of the season? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. no, it's too because it, I I feel like I'm going into the two week break. Um. Yeah, yeah, it's very hard to say. Actually, question for you. Uh, Don't say we'll, it. We could end on <laughs> if if Cloud Nine lost both games, right? So they they lost yep, yep. to NRG and Hundred Thieves. Do you think that they change either a player or a coach in the two week break, or I don't think or would you just let coach. it ride? But okay. uh, I'm hoping they let it ride, but I think they might switch out. Uh, it's probably support, if anything. I don't think okay. they'd really switch out anything else. Unless unless Berserk is like mega tilted and wants to go home or something. But I just don't see that <laughs> happening. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you let it ride too, even if you lost the two games. But okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with that. I think it's pretty rough if you do lose both, though. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly... I, no flame to Mithy because I love the guy, but I do think it's probably time for him to move on. Um, should probably get a new coach in there or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know what you think, but I feel like he's been he's definitely into a few drafts the last couple of years. But yeah, I mean, he's also done yeah. good in other times, so it's hard to say. <laughs> I think maybe you don't have to get rid of him, but maybe you bring in someone to do the drafts. That would be my That's like a fair. draft coach, yeah. basically. Maybe. I can see it. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, either way, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys for watching once again. Uh, thank you, Drew. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.